visuals and welcome back to Superhero Wednesday, the day of the week where we talk about anything superheroes, sometimes action figures, today it's all about statues, panini statues, it's kind of weird saying panini, I don't like just saying panini, and I'm sure panini's a food, is panini a food, let us in the comments below, I don't know, I feel really chatty today, but yes, you know I like to flex my muscles, <gasps> it hurts to tense everywhere, uh, yes, but you know I like to flex my collectible stuff. And Panini, basically, if you don't know what it is, Panini do these like statues, these figures that come out uh, two issues a month, and I've been collecting for a couple of months now, and it's 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 a fun collection. Don't get us wrong; they're not the most beautiful or well-made figures. They're all right for what they are. It's just nice at the end of the month to get a box delivered to your house with a couple of uh, magazines describing the characters. Not that you need it, but it's fun to collect, uh, and a couple of figures in a box that you can stick on a plinth, which is a, a fancy way of saying stand. So yes, I subscribed. It's like I think it's like twelve quid per issue, but then you get some like special gifts during during the way. But um, they've actually got me in a bit of a mood this time round because I've got two fucked up ones. I'll show you these as well. The fact the thumbnail is probably one of them. Uh, but we're gonna go through the collection show we've got so far. And if you do enjoy this video, again, the whole uh, this there's another point to this another point to this video. Because if you do enjoy this video, then that means every time we get a delivery, I'll upload it and say this is what's added to the collection, and you can see the collection grow as we grow as a channel, and as a community, and as friends. Panini. Oh yes, visual, I'm gonna try and stand up this plinth with two, four, six, eight, ten, ten figures on it, and then there's a couple of other little ones. I'll show you what's going on with it. And again, let us know in the comments below if you're collecting this and stuff. Should we just get straight on? We'll look at who's the characters are on the plinth. Oh no, in fact, we'll look at the ones that piss me off first. Yeah, there's only a couple of reasons why this pissed me off. Like, like I said, they're not the greatest done statues. They're just nice to have. They sit there, they look pretty. Um, but some really bad stuff. But this is the first, the first minor one is you get this oversized Thanos, Thanos one. That's pretty cool. It looks all right. You know, it's relatively heavy and stuff. But look, look at this. Look if I can get it right into the camera. Look, can you see there, oh, there, there, there? Can you see the chip? It's supposed to stand out nice and sharp, like 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 this corner. But there's a huge dent in it. I hope took it out of the box and that, and I was like, oh, great. There's a, there's a, there's a big dent out of this. Lucky I'm the kind of person that's just like, sort of like, oh, well, such will be, will be. You know, as most people are like, hey, oh, man, I'll pay for this, blah, 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 blah. I'm just like, oh, well, my Thanos has got a dent in him. But this, this next one is the worst offender. Right. Magneto, you probably think, what the hell's wrong with that? You know, the stand's all spot on, everything's looking good, it's Magneto, it's back to normal. Um, well, could you please, visuals, tell me where the hell, <laughs> where the hell are his fingers? He's missing his, his three middle fingers there, so basically all he's doing is, you know, is Logan Paul in it, doing that. Where the fuck is his fingers? Took Again, took it out of the box, had a look for, yeah, it's tiny, that spot. Oh, wait, no, he's, he's got no fingers. <laughs> My Magneto has got no fingers. So, yeah, that's that's kind of pissed me off. Um, but, again, I'm always like, what will be, will be. I could email them, but I just can't be asked. Next time you get into fight with, Wolf, uh, with Wolverine, with Magneto, just, just remember, he's... Uh, He's missing his fingers. Poor bastard. Okay, just like the Thanos oversized, with like big ones that are just like sort of along the way special ones. I've got two more of them, and the rest are just are like just normal every two week issues. So we did the two big statues now. They're not they're not that big. They're big bigish. Got one involving a character which I cannot stand, but it's um, Jean Grey and Cyclops, a joint double one, chilling with each other on a nice little stand. I, I mean, I hate Cyclops, but I love this classic X-Men um, outfit and stuff. I, I love, I don't know, I, I really like that one. It, it sounds quite proudly in my room. But um, this one, I don't know if it's just to do because we know Jean Grey, what she can do. This one, I don't know if there's got paint missing, but she's not quite touchy there. She's not quite touching the, the thingy. So I don't know if that's another mess up or not, but uh, yeah, it's a nice one. She looks quite, quite bug-eyed though. Look at that face. Bug eye. Zoom in. And this one is an absolute badass, but it's Iron Man armor. Mark one. The good eye classic look of Iron Man when he was like, his armor looked like he was really, really fat. Not to fat shame Iron Man or anything, but uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool figure. This one though is surprisingly really light. I mean, none of them are too heavy. This is really, really light. Uh, you'd think it'd be, I'm not quite sure. Can you pick that up in the mic? Not sure what they're made of. Is it cast iron? Is cast iron a real thing? He'd know. He's probably made something out of cast iron before, but that looks really good. There's no defects or anything like this. This, this is probably one of the, the best looking figures out of the set. 
Right, this is probably where I, I do something horrible and mess up and just drop everything and then they all break and then I'll be even more happy. Wouldn't really, it would be sad as fuck. <sighs> Let's try. Let's try and pick up this plinth without um thingy and hopefully I'm stood like here-ish, kind of, with them all ready to go. Managed to pick it up all right, but this is the, the, the plinth that I have chilling and you can see it there. I think it actually says panini if the lighting would sort itself out. Yeah, the lighting's not going to work. Oh, oh, kind of. Oh, no, just as Marvel Universe. I thought it said Panini that the whole thing was a waste of time. But, yes, issue one was, of course, Spider-Man. But we've got on the plinth, we've got Iron Man, Black Widow, Spider-Man, Captain America 4. In the background, we've got Daredevil, Wolverine, Deadpool, God, uh, Green Goblin, and Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is... Oh, Doctor Strange the one. Can I risk doing this with one hand? Oh, oh, uh, oh drop me, drop me thingy. Uh, Doctor Strange is absolutely sick. I like, I like that one. He's got his axe. He's, he's one of the ones with the faces that are, are slightly more painted well and in detail. Look at, look at Black Widow's rack. <laughs> Back end's alright as well. God, that's weird of me. But yes, this is it. Um, issues 1 all the way up to 10, 11, all the way up to 11. So the next two issues I get are 12 and 13. I think it's Black Panther and... I can't remember who the other one is. Was oh, it Submariner? It could be. It could be Submariner. It could be Namor. Um, I think it, I think that's the next two. So yeah, if you want like a, a monthly update or a video of the, of the new statues being added to collect, and of course Spider-Man is, is the main centre point there. Has to be. The greatest hero of all time. But if you do want an update, because like I said, they are cool figures. They're alright. It's just nice to, you know, come home and there's a delivery and it's two figures in a couple of magazines. If you want to update with me and come for this adventure with its visuals, just let us know in the comments below and we can... Uh, Collect these all together and you can see the collection grow. And that was it, a nice little short sort of like a Superhero Wednesday where I can show you this stuff and then also say how can we get more interactive with each other and above interactive, you know. And there we go, visuals. It's Superhero Wednesday, like, share, subscribe. Flexing. So hopefully you did enjoy it. Like I said, if you are collecting this stuff, let us know as well if you are collecting. If you've had any defects and any of your figures, if they've come with any um, minor stuff, hopefully your Magneto's not missing any fingers or your Thanos' stand is not chipped. But visuals, I've been a big nerd. You've been my fellow nerds. Uh, thank you for watching. Like them, and um, oh, poor bastard, he's got no fucking fingers. Visuals, keep it you and keep on oh, keeping on. If you've liked what you've seen, guys, if you enjoy watching me, enjoy watching Dan, or even a little glimpse of our little friend Bill of sitting in the corner, doing whatever he's doing, you can now follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.